The Minnesota State Patrol is celebrating its 90th anniversary this year. There's no shortage of history and tradition, not to mention a family legacy as well. A member of the Hodap family has been a Minnesota State Trooper since 1957. That is three generations so far. John Lorson sat down with the family to talk about serving the state. The, the favorite part is what you can do to help people when they're in trouble. People in law enforcement often look at their fellow officers as family. The HODAPs look at their fellow officers and literally see their family. It began when Phil was a college student back in 1957. And about the time the patrol was running a test, I thought, well, I'll, I'll, tr I'll take the test, see what happens. All well, the rest is history. He had no way of knowing just how much history would be made. Phil's son, Matt, became a trooper in 1982. He married Lori, who became a trooper in 1984. And now their son, Nathan, is carrying on the family tradition. And so when Nathan wanted to go into law enforcement, that was, that was pretty neat. When he got on the state patrol, that was even neater. It turned out that Lori was academy director while her son was in training. And at Nathan's 2015 graduation, his dad and grandpa did something pretty special. Badge 12 was worn by both Lieutenant Hodap and Sergeant Hodap. Nathan will be the third generation to have worn badge number 12 for the state patrol. Watching him walk across the stage and having Phil and Matt pin him and being the academy director at the time was just a thrill. Any apprehension that Phil, Matt, and Lori had about Nathan taking to the highways and roadways quickly went away when they realized he was in this for the same reasons they were, to help others when they need it most. You know, hopefully they appreciate you being around to help them out. Uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling. They've, they've done a great job all the way down to Nathan, and it's just, uh, uh, it makes me feel proud of them. It's a job that can be risky and rewarding at the same time. Something that will be made clear to the next generation of HODAPs. Well, that's a lot of years of HODAP in the Minnesota State Patrol. We try not to put too much pressure on Nathan mm -hmm. on, in regards to his future and whether there will be another HODAP there, but you never know. In St. Paul, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Congratulations to the HODAP family. Uh, Minnesota State Patrol will hold a 90th anniversary celebration, and that will be next Thursday at the State Capitol from noon to 4.